are back with more wellness. Yes, I am here again today. I will show you at some point what is out the window next to me. If you guys have been watching the news at all, you know that, well, I think much of the United States is getting bad weather, but here in Buffalo, we are under what they're calling right now a winter storm warning. They did mention blizzard-like conditions, which usually means the wind, and it is super windy, you guys. You may even hear the gusts that come. They're saying 60 mile an hour gusts, I believe. So I'm gonna give you guys a peek out the window, but let's go over some of the wellness stuff this week. What am I gonna show you in this week's video? Well, I am going to show you me cooking. I did use the cod and a lot of the items that I got from Aldi's last week, Aldi, Aldi's, you guys know, you know, um, I did use in that recipe. So I'm excited to show you that. There was a night when I was cooking for my family and I thought this was good to show because a lot of times when you are on a wellness journey, I don't wanna say diet, cause that's not what this is. I certainly don't count calories at this point. But what you're cooking for yourself may not be something that pleases your husband or children or whomever you live with. And I did come across that this week. So I made myself a really quick but healthy and gluten-free, dairy-free meal that I wanted to show you as well. So that came up as well as a really quick and easy, yummy breakfast that I used some of my Aldi stuff for. So I'm gonna show you all that. And yes, I am in my new studio sitting on the couch. I did buy some accessories. This is my favorite. I love this little brown pillow. It's so cute. As well as these uh, brown pillows. There's one on each side. And I gotta turn this over. My daughter, for whatever reason, loves hanging out in here. I cannot tell her enough not to but I catch her in here all the time, so everything's not just so. Um, I do have a new Walmart candle. It's lavender and lemonade. I'm gonna link it. And I do wanna mention that candles, fresh flowers, sometimes just pillows, stuff like that can really help with mental health. And I'm gonna give you just a quick um, talk on that as well. So while we are experiencing this yucky winter weather, we are also experiencing days upon days of gray. It is very depressing. I try to be positive and I try to open all the curtains and put on, you know, the lights and my candles and all of that, but sometimes it really and truly does get to you. The days are just so short, but I have good news for you. Two things. One is take a look at this graphic that I'm gonna put up on the screen. It shows you that I think it starts December 21st and from now until June 21st, we get more and more light and longer days. So I do believe that June 21st is the longest day of the year. I had a friend who is unfortunately no longer with us and he used to announce that all the time. Um, he was a friend that I went to high school and college with. I also have what's called a happy light and is on me right now. So I don't have my ring light on me, but this is a happy light. So I am going to grab it and then come right back so you guys can see it. Hold on. So here I am, you guys. Look a little different without my light. This is the Happy Light. You can get it on Amazon. And they say that if you sit in front of it, I think for like 15 or 20 minutes a day, it can help with that SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. So it plugs right into the wall, which I love. It has a nice stand right here. And there it is. You just turn it right on. It's kind of washing me out now. But it is so nice to have this bright light on you. I think you guys would like it. So if you're someone who does feel like they're affected by these short, dark days, you might want to consider getting this. I will link it for you. It is available right on Amazon. So just thought that that would be something I would share. I think mental health is absolutely a part of overall wellness. All right, let me shut this off and come back on. All right, you guys, I am back. It also can serve as a really good light for videos if you guys take any videos. It really did. I didn't have to drag my giant ring light down here just yet. So I'm in my new studio. I did add some accessories, a table and stuff, and I'm gonna do a full tour um, probably this week at some point. Also, my eye is getting better. You guys don't know this, but this eye right here had a popped blood vessel. You're gonna see it on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's nothing exciting, but if you're squeamish, uh, you might not wanna stick around for the lip combo when I come up close. I don't know what happened. I just kind of woke up like that. All right, you guys, let's get into the video and then we will come back here and close it out. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I got it. All right, guys, since breakfast is the first meal of the day, I figured I would start out with this. So I know that, you know, regular oatmeal is really good for you, but I don't mind grabbing this lower sugar version. Now, this is 
Wegmans brand. If you don't have a Wegmans, Quaker Oats makes it as well. There are the stats on it. You get at least four grams of protein and I think I saw three grams of fiber. So I add uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed. You want to get the milled flaxseed that's ready to eat and it's 70 calories, but it adds two grams of protein and plenty of fiber. It is really good for you to keep your cholesterol down. I've heard it can lower it you know, just by that addition. And then showing you that I also add my fruit, my strawberries and bananas. And all I do is I put it all in a bowl and what's it's in the bowl. There's some water in there as well. And then I just microwave it, you guys, for like a minute and a half. Those again are frozen strawberries and bananas that I get over at Aldi's. You can use fresh fruit, of course, which I would then add at the end, not you know, when you're microwaving it. In addition to that, you guys, ground cinnamon or cinnamon in general is a really good anti-inflammatory. So I like to put a pinch of that in the oatmeal as well and then top it with some almond milk. Once it comes out of the microwave, give it a good stir. Now you may need to pop it back in the microwave at this point for another like maybe 30 seconds. And it's nothing fantastic. It might be something you guys already use or eat, but I thought I would throw that in there for a quick breakfast idea. All right, you guys. So this is what I made my family when I mentioned I had cooked them something, but I was not going to eat it. It is chicken soup. I don't eat gluten as far as the noodles, and I'm not a huge fan of chicken. I know that's not a popular opinion, but that's just how it is. But I had to show you because I was proud of my chicken soup. I even had extra bow ties that I can't eat and would love to. But moving on, over here you can see that I also had a bag of steamable brown rice. It's great in a pinch. I buy it in the frozen section. I know for sure they sell it at Trader Joe's as well as Wegmans. Additionally, I had a can of black beans. I wanted protein and fiber in the meal that evening and I wanted something quick, you guys. So I grabbed one of the sweet potatoes, yes, from Aldi's. In fact, the black beans are as well. And basically I put it all together. I cut up an avocado. I made myself a little side salad there and there were black beans in the middle as well i don't know why we don't see them there but i did have the black beans in there and the side salad the black beans the sweet potato everything filled me up you guys i also added a little of this herdez guacamole salsa or sauce it doesn't have much to it but it's nice in a pinch if you don't feel like making guacamole so you saw i did have a few slices of avocado for some healthy fats and then the brown rice. I also wanted to show you that I like to use this Earth Balance. It is a butter substitute. I go very light with it, but it is nice and it really and truly does taste like butter minus the dairy. So here it is. Here's the finished plate. You can see that I did add the black beans. They're steaming hot. You guys, that was such a filling bowl. You would not believe it. And it literally took me, I think I was pointing to the black beans there. It took me about 10 minutes. I did microwave the sweet potato as well. I have a potato button on my microwave and that was it. That was dinner. All right, you guys, this is a different day and I am showing you here that I preheated my oven we are about to make this cod recipe now i'm not going to give you measurements or anything like that while i'm going over this with you right now but i will definitely give you the link in the description box below so there it is there's the pacific cod those are the portions that i purchased from aldi in our grocery haul last week i'm also showing you the cherry tomatoes that i have and this recipe called for the cherry tomatoes, but not the feta. However, I do feel like the two sometimes go hand in hand. So I did purchase this. In the end, I ended up having just a bite of it, but my family um, did have it. So it does really char up well. These are some of the ingredients you need. Now the recipe called for fresh oregano and fresh thyme. I did not have it, nor did I want to purchase it just for one recipe. You know, that can be pricey. I know it would have been fantastic, but I did not run out and get it. Instead, I used dry and I just halved the measurements. Showing you here that I'm using extra virgin olive oil for it. It is imported from Greece, which is important to me because I honeymoon there and I think they have the best olive oil around. Also showing you that I purchased this little squeeze bottle from the dollar store and it allows me not to go heavy handed on the olive oil. You guys should try it. It's great for coating pans and even for mixing with salads. All right, so I sliced up some lemons that I had and I'm gonna show you how I put them on the bottom of the tray. This is a little trick that I learned um, from a different recipe and it's really great when cooking fish. 
also showing you the mixture of herbs so you put them all together in there and then you kind of coat the fish with that the recipe does call for black olives i used kalamata and capers as well which wow what a great taste that gave the fish i've also put that combo you guys on cauliflower and roasted it and it's fantastic so going over all of the herbs there the thyme again as i mentioned i'm using all of the dry and the link for this recipe will be below and you'll notice that it's calling for fresh but that is not how i did it so just going over and showing you everything and then we're going to go ahead and prepare this meal to go in that 450 degree oven so here are the cherry tomatoes. You can do more if you like, and they're just gonna roast right along with everything. I did spray the fish with that olive oil spray. I really didn't want um, a lot of oil on it at all. So just a light spray, and that will help it bake and crisp up, and it will also allow the herbs, or the herb mixture, I should say, to stick to the fish. So there I am just sprinkling it all over the fish. That was a great amount of cod that I got from Aldi for that price, you guys. I was thrilled with that because cod can be very expensive and it is absolutely my favorite fish. If you've not tried making fish at home, I would suggest starting out with cod. It is very mild in flavor, cooks very well and very quickly, I might add. So, um, you know, let me know, try it. Do you guys cook fish at home? I I think I may have told you that my 2024 goal or one of my 2024 health goals is to cook fish at least once a week. It is so good for you, you guys. It's got all kinds of great things, omega-3s, even cod has omega-3s. I'm not a huge fan of salmon, so uh, I'm gonna stick with the cod for now. But there I am just preparing this and we'll get it into the oven soon. All right, you guys, there is the tomato mixture. I added that feta myself. It is not in the recipe. I also did add a little crushed red pepper. I do like things spicy. Underneath, you can see the Kalamata olives as well as those capers. Everything is drizzled with a little bit of olive oil as well. All right, and the fish is all ready to go in the oven. I wanted you to see it all on my baking sheet. I did line it with parchment paper and a little bit of olive oil spray so nothing will stick and it is ready to go in the oven. So the cherry tomato mixture as well as the fish can go in together. You're gonna to cook it all at the same temperature. I believe in the recipe they told you to share the pan, but I had a pretty good amount of cod there, so I preferred to put it on two separate plates. And there it is, you guys, wow. <laughs> it honestly cooked so quickly. Um, and I think it came out great. Look at that flaky fish in that first piece. It's missing a little bite. I don't know who, but someone took a bite. And I'll tell you what, it was fantastic. All right, I made a salad to go along with this dinner. And it was just a simple spring mix, some tomatoes, cucumbers. I also have a favorite balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna link it for you. You can get it on Amazon. It's not cheap, you guys. It's kind of an indulgence, but I absolutely am addicted to it. The flavor I have here is the pomegranate. They also have peach and a few other flavors. And then I just used, as I mentioned before, that olive oil spray. Okay, guys, and this is the final plating. Check that out. So this was my husband's plate. He got two giant fillets of cod. And then I went ahead and put some of that side salad on there. And it was fantastic. So again, the recipe will be in the description box below. Let me know if you try it. All right, you guys, that was it for this week's video. Hopefully it wasn't too short. Again, in the description box below, you can find the link for my candle, the happy light. Uh, what else am I gonna put down there? The codfish recipe will be down there. And I will also link that balsamic vinegar, you guys, I'm obsessed. But like I said, I think it's like $28 for that bottle and I've been going crazy with it. It is so good. So if you guys are fans of a vinaigrette, go ahead and grab it. I just sprinkle that on there with a little bit, a little squirt, like I said, with that dollar store bottle for the olive oil. And that's all I use for dressing. And I, it makes me want salads more, you guys. I'm not even kidding you. In fact, when I get off of here, I'm going to go make a salad because today is my husband's birthday and his brother and family are coming over and we are going to have ourselves a little feast and your girl's going to go make her famous salad. 
So anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Um, Guess what? I wanted to show you how bad the weather got, but it kind of cleared up now. I don't know what's going on. I did hear it was supposed to stop for a few hours and then come back. So we'll see what happens. Go Bills. The game has been moved now to Monday. So no game today for you guys, if you guys at all follow football. I really don't. I do always want the Bills to win, but you know, They've disappointed us quite a few times, <laughs> but I do like to see everyone happy. It's such a mood around here. You guys would be amazed. All right, that is it. Once again, I hope you join me tomorrow for my video at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm introducing a new brand for you guys, and there's some really cool pieces. I think you're going to love them. And of course, yes, I have a discount code. And don't forget to give me suggestions down in the comments on um, what you guys want to see in this series. I'm excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. All right, you guys, I hope you all have a great day. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell for notifications. If you aren't, that way you'll know because I'm uploading videos at all different times these days. And give it a like if you did like it. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.